Hello, Evelyn here again. Um, this is your introductory section. It is where you gain or you you lose your audience. So it's so important that you get this part right. Okay, so uh, let's see um, the different points that you need need to take take note of. As I've mentioned um, earlier on, it is where you gain or you lose your audience, right? So one way to stand out is by how you open your pitch. Here are some examples and also take some techniques that you can actually try. For instance, you may want to ask a question um, to start up your intro. Your questions could be very, very effective, but try not to ask obvious questions or try to ask the audience the questions that will really get them to think, you know, to reevaluate themselves, for example, you know. Um, then the second one is imagine. That's another way, you know, another way to capture your audience as well. For example, you could say, imagine for a moment that you are um, sitting in the Mars and staring back at the Earth, you know, that's something. So be careful, do. Using imagine is okay, but try not to overuse it. For instance, you are trying to solve a problem relating to statistics. It is good to first of all talk about the stats. That actually captures or grabs the attention of the user. But try again to find information that is new and interesting, not some information that is so known and, and to seem like, ah. Oh, old story so you want to make sure and um, you are making the the audience not their head oh really is that really that amount you know so do your research and get the very interesting statistics that will make people want to listen more all right so quote another way to attract your audience will be to say a good quote by somewhat somebody famous or maybe not so famous, you know, the quote should encapsulate the point that you're trying to convey across the, to the audience, okay? So you don't just give a quote that's not related to what you're talking about. So make sure the quote is relevant. All right, another way again is story. This is very effective way. It's very effective to engage an audience. Humans are naturally storytellers, all right? Tell a story, but again, let the story be relevant, all right? Um, and then people love story. It captures or it captures the attention of, of, uh, of audience. So you can you may want to try that as your opening statement. Then again, the value preposition. So this one is clearly written out. You know, the value preposition is basically what is the benefit your users will be getting for using your app. You want to state that clearly because we've known our research shows that most times people don't listen when you're just talking about the business alone or what you have to offer. You should talk about how you plan to solve the problem. All right. So you may start up your conversation using that term. For instance, you could say we help X do Y by doing Z. OK, you know what I mean? So we help we help. Mr. X to do something Y in order for something Z to occur. So you fill in the X with who you want to help, the Y with what you want for them, and you fill in the Z with how you want it to be done. Okay? All right. So now here's an example. This example is, is an app that educates students on climate change. It goes like this. Have you wondered why some people never bother about the effect of climate change? When a topic is brought up during lunchtime at school or over dinner at home, I can see the eyes glazing over and sense the complete lack of engagement with this issue. More often than not, it quickly brushed, it's quickly brushed off as someone else's problem. Worse still, it breaks her heart to even imagine that some top-level government, government officials actually think it's a hoax. We asked some experts in the field, 
why people are not interested in climate change. Here's what one of them has to say. Okay, so basically, this is the introduction, the, the introductory um, um, part of it. However, this team, they, are, they interviewed an expert, you know, asking this question. Why, why are people not interested in climate change? So you can see the system that's been used here. They're trying to get um, the experts to talk about the problem, okay? You know, in addition to what you have, you know. So this particular video um, actually stated clearly why people are not interested in finding climate change. And he also mentioned some statistics and problems ahead. So you can see, so you can actually use an expert to help you highlight the problem as well. So it's not just you talking it, talking about it. You could even get some videos from YouTube or uh, from, from the news, from CNN, from RTE, you know, and um, just to back up um, your, um, your problem statements. I hope this is clear enough. And um, if you have any questions, do not forget to uh, hesitate to, uh, um, to call back on me. Take care. Bye.